For my art based awareness project, I decided to choose my first person narrative to be the book I Am Alola by Malala Yousafzai. And this book explains her life starting basically around the age when she was 10. The Taliban had taken over her hometown where she lived and their beliefs as their group was that women had different responsibilities than men did. They didn't think that women were allowed to go to the market alone or to be allowed to go to school. So Malala had gone to school for her life. So once she had been outlawed saying she wasn't allowed to go to school, she realized that that obviously is not a fair and just thing to be happening in society. So she decided to take a stand against that. Um, the oppression she went through clearly was sexism. She was discriminated against due to her gender. And they decided that she, because she was a girl, wasn't allowed to go to school and get the same education that men were. So I have known about Bunlala and her story for a long time now. I think I learned about it first in elementary school. And so I was familiar with her and her story, but I hadn't read the book. So I chose this because I thought she was a very empowering woman for me because I take my education very seriously and I think that education should be provided for all people. So I thought her story was very empowering given that she's a woman who wasn't supposed to be going to school fighting for education, especially given the platform that she has now winning a Nobel Peace Prize. So the book belonged to my sister and I hadn't read it. And then given this assignment, I decided that it would be a good idea if I chose this book, given that I am kind of familiar with her story. She speaks to me personally. I think she's a very empowering figure and role model for women and overall people in all of society. So the book presents the issue of oppression, mostly from sexism, that they women in her society were not allowed to do the same things that men were allowed to do. So she took a stand against this and eventually when she was 15 got shot by the Taliban when she was riding home from school. So I decided for my piece to make a bus that had pictures of her and empowering words on it because I thought that not only does the bus represent education as a whole. When you see a school bus, obviously you think about education, going to school. But I thought because she was shot in a school bus that the symbol of a school bus is more about her strength. That she was able to overcome something that's obviously very big and turn it into a very positive thing. Obviously, her being shot was a very tragic, very sad thing that happened to her. But I think it really turned not turned her life around but it allowed her to make a very very large change in the world from something that had happened to her that was obviously very bad so i took the symbol of the school bus to be a symbol of malala's strength in general so i made the school bus and it says send all girls to school and girl power because that's very much what she was fighting for and then on the side a larger photo of her that says fight for women's education and so she really, really used her platform for these things. I think that I made the school bus to make it seem more of a strength piece, a more power piece to her. And I wanted to add the words of sending girls to school and adding things like that because that was her message. And I think that it's very important that that is very clearly laid out within what I had made. So... What created the oppression basically for her was the Taliban had taken over, as I said before, but the system of oppression that has happened against women not being sent to school doesn't only happen in Afghanistan and Pakistan and other places. It happens in quite a few places around the world. I myself went on a mission trip to Tanzania last year, and I got to see um, children in the schools and how they learned, and I got to help out with them, and it was not uncommon. Um, for them because they don't have as much money sometimes 
if they can only send one kid to school, they'll send the boys. And then the girls are left at home to do other things. So I, myself, was able to firsthand see that. And I think within learning that and going to a third world country, that it's very important that everybody be educated because it really sets a foot up for everybody when you're all given the same education and obviously it's not fair for women to not be educated simply because they're women because we are not no less smart than men women deserve to have the same playing field as men basically and it's hard to kind of tackle the issue of sending women to school when it's integrated in a lot of societies and it's hard it's not just something that you can just get over right away. There's a lot of things that need to happen in order for it to change. You need a lot of people who wish for the cause, think that the cause is very good. Like Malala herself speaking out, winning a Nobel Peace Prize, it gets a lot of attention. Makes people realize that, hey, this is a big issue because in Canada, we don't realize that sometimes we take education for granted. And I know that I take education for granted. Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I don't even wanna go to school, but school obviously is a very important thing and it should be provided for all people, no matter your race, gender, or any other factors like that, it should be given to everybody. So I thought that this spoke to me, given that I'm also a girl and I take my education very seriously. And I think that education should be provided for all people. I think that obviously you shouldn't be discriminated against, especially for education. I think that Malala's work is very empowering as I was aware of it before I started to look for people to do my project on. And I think she's a very empowering woman. I think she's done some really amazing things for considering how young she was when she first started her movement. And I really, I took away from this that I want people to understand that education really can be taken for granted and that it should be something that universally is provided to people. And so that's what I want people to understand when they look at my piece. So the piece of strength within the bus and just the words on it saying like that women's education is very important for everybody because when you educate everyone in society in the same way it helps to bring up the economy and it helps to help overall the entire society and no women should be discriminated against until they cannot go to school just because they're a woman